I told y'all as soon as I found this build on current gen, y'all was immediately getting a video. This is the same Sasha build that I posted on next gen, the godly one that I found, the one that's probably gonna be my main Sasha build along with my small forward, the demigod. All right, but before we get into that, please do me a huge favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn post notifications. It would help me out a lot and help out my channel a lot, and I would greatly appreciate it. And now, without further ado, let's get into the build. Position: You're gonna go point guard, right handed, left handed doesn't matter. Jersey number does not matter. All right. Height, you're gonna go 6'4. Weight, you're gonna go 185. All right, 185. Wingspan, you're gonna go seven foot. Body shape, I always go to fine, but it does not matter. It doesn't affect gameplay in any way. All right, so pay attention to the attributes because every time you upgrade something, something else goes up as well. Every time you put something down, something else goes down as well. So you have to pay real close attention with this builder. All right, so pay attention and follow along. Okay, we're gonna come down to physical first. All right, we're gonna put our stamina. Put obviously, we're gonna put that to a 95. All right, put that to a 95. My vert, you're gonna put that up to an 85. All right, put your vertical up to an 85. This year, I know a lot of people keep saying, Oh, you need an 85 vertical. Actually, for elite contact dunk packages and pro, it's 80 instead of 85. So keep that in mind. The 85 is for the smalls, though, because I am 6'4, I will be able to unlock the smalls as well. All right. Strength, you're gonna put that to a 61. Acceleration, you're gonna put that to an 85. I put that to an 85. Speed, put that to a 90. Defensive rebound, you're gonna put that to a 36. Offensive rebound, you're gonna put that back down to a 25. Block, you're gonna come up and put that to a 69. Steal, you're gonna put that to a 48. I right, put it to a 48. All right, perimeter defense, you're gonna put that to an 81. All right, interior defense, you're going to put that to a 63, and that should give you 11 defensive badges. Come up to speed with ball, you're going to put that to an 85. Come up to ball handling, you're going to put that to an 89, and that should allow you to get that Hall of Fame quick first step. Pass accuracy, you're going to put that to a 74. All right, free throw, you're going to come up and put that to a 70 flat. All right, put that to a 70. Three point, you're going to put that to a 70 flat as well that to a 70 and your mid range you're gonna put to a 70 as well that should give you 12 shooting badges driving dunk you're gonna max that all the way out at a 97 all right put your driving lip to an 86 and your close shot you're gonna put that to a 77 all right and like i said this is what you have to pay close attention notice how my speed went down from a 90 to an 89 put that back up to a 90 and you have a 99 overall like i said you have to pay really close attention because some stuff goes up some stuff goes down you really have to pay close attention and go back and fix whatever you messed up and as you can see you have 22 finishing 12 shooting 22 playmaking and 11 defensive now with this build you do get the lockdown and slashing takeover just like on next gen so for my primary i'm gonna go slashing and for my secondary i'm going to go lockdown defender and thank you thank you thank you finally i got the word just slasher i finally got the build name just slasher not two way this not two way this this is the actual slash all right shades of De'Aaron fox kenny smith and damian lillard so for your finishing badges you're going to go ahead and get your key badges posterizer get that gold limitless takeoff you're going to get that on hall of fame all right slithery finisher you're going to put that on gold you're going to come over to fearless finisher put that on silver acrobat put that on silver come over to giant slayer and you can put that on silver and honestly in all my in honest opinion you could really if you know how to do if you know how to get context this year if you know the new method if you don't know what i'm talking about watch my video on how to get contact dunks i will leave a link in the description there's a new way to get contact dunks every single time if you drop to the paint if you know what you're doing so in all honesty if you want to put giant slayer higher you can because i'm pretty sure it's going to do the same thing it does every year and give you more layups instead of dunks but if you know how to trigger the contact dunks the fancy dunks then you can honestly put this higher and you'll be able to benefit from it all right but this is how you use the badge setup if you don't know that method if you don't know how to do it for my shooting badges i probably go agent three uh silver guard up come over here immediately go bronze green machine bronze blinders um probably getting amped on silver clay uh clay clay maker claymore on silver as well and that would be my shooting badges 
For playmaking, I'd probably put Clamp Breaker on gold, handles for days on silver, immediately get my quick first step on Hall of Fame just because, you know, I'm, I'm glad this build gets quick first step on Hall of Fame. That is a crucial benefit and something I was needing this year. I'm not gonna lie, I needed that this year. All right, Hyperdrive, put that on gold and that will give you two more badges left honestly you can do what you want with these you can either get killer combos on bronze you won't be able to get them gold because it costs three but unless unless you want to come over here and drop your clamp breaker to silver which i highly wouldn't recommend then you could get uh killer combos on silver but me personally i kind of want that clamp breakers on gold so i'm gonna get these two bronze badges and just call it a day all right put it on bailout dimer yada 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 and now for defensive badges, I'm going to go ahead and get Bronze Clamps, Gold Menace, Silver Challenger, and now you have two more badges left to do what you want. Now you can honestly do what you want with these two Bronze Badges, or you could drop your Menace to Silver, get four left, and you could put your Chase Down Artist on Bronze, which I wouldn't see why you would need it. I mean, I see, but at the same time, it's just like it's not needed. So I'd really put Menace back on Gold and then use these two Bronze Badges on something else like chase down artists i mean ankle braces i don't know I, I don't think ankle braces works but if it does work let me know or pick dodger i don't see a lot of people using picks it's more of iso nowadays in the park so really it's up to you, you probably go with pogo stick it's really up to you how you want to use those last two badges but this would be the badge setup for this build and that is the build completed so again if you enjoyed this video please hit like button subscribe if you know in turn post notifications it would help me out a lot and i would greatly appreciate it and man i'm out